When Sarah found a pregnant wolf in dire need of help during a hike with her infant daughter, she saved her from dying and kept that memory sealed in her heart. Four years later, the wolf found a special way to repay her kindness. Sarah was an outdoors woman through and through. Her family had brought her up in the natural parks that were in her state. From the time she could withstand long distances, her parents would strap her up on their backs and take her with them on long, windy hikes. As she grew, she couldn't help but fantasize while they made their way through the rocky woods. In her mind, she was friends with all the woodland animals that she may have crossed paths with. Even the scary grizzly bear that her father always warned her about didn't bother her. In fact, she would often look out for bears in the hope of making friends with them. Thankfully, she'd never met one. As she grew, her father ensured she learned everything there was to know about hiking in these parts of the country. She was extremely well-versed in the terrain and the different types of survival techniques, if needed. These experiences truly instilled her love for nature and the outdoors. So much so that she went on to become a scientist. After entering the working world, Sarah soon found herself expecting a child with her partner. She was simply thrilled at the prospect of having a hiking buddy that she could teach. Walking with him just wasn't the same as when she had hiked with her dad in the past. So she hoped to instill a love for the outdoors in her child, just as her father had done for her. And so, as soon as her daughter Julia was old enough to be exposed to the outdoors, she was strapped up and taken with her on hikes. Sarah found an even deeper appreciation for her hikes now that she could share them with her own daughter. Julia would accompany her mother regardless of the hike. At just six months old, she had already covered more ground than the average Joe who sat in his home every weekend. Sarah had been apprehensive in the past about attempting more difficult hikes, but she soon found her confidence again. This is what led her to take a particular path one day. This was a decision that would change her life, but she would only realize it years later. One particular Saturday afternoon, Sarah made the bold choice of deciding to go on a more difficult hike with Julia. After much consideration, she had come to the conclusion that she was in the right physical condition to complete it with her daughter in tow. And so, she prepared everything she needed, traced out the path on a map, and explained her plan to her partner. He agreed to meet her at one of the parking lots to pick her up at a certain time, so all was in place. The hike itself was not nearly as taxing as Sarah had initially thought. It was a cool spring day, which made it ideal for being outdoors. Julia seemed quite content to snore away on her mother's back while Sarah progressed through the woods. Everything was going just as she had planned it, that is until she heard a peculiar noise. It sounded like something was in severe pain. Cautiously, Sarah proceeded to advance upon the sound as it grew louder and louder. She braced herself for what she might come across. Part of her feared that it might be a bear, however, her curiosity simply overtook that fear and led her to continue forward. When she finally got within sight of the sound, she couldn't help but gasp in shock. There, in front of her, lay a giant gray wolf. Its breathing was erratic, and it was snarling and growling in pain. Sarah threw all caution to the wind and ran straight up to the suffering animal. All she knew was that she wanted to help in any way she could. The animal was in so much distress it hardly noticed her approaching. There was something seriously wrong with it, but at first glance, she couldn't understand what. It didn't look injured, but there was some blood under its hind legs. Once she was closer to the wolf, she noticed a great bulge in its stomach. She questioned whether it might be a pregnant female, and when she looked down, she realized she was right. It became quickly apparent that this wolf was in labor but that things were not proceeding as they should. Without much more thought, Sarah unlatched Julia from her back and set her down nicely next to a nearby tree. She then went to the wolf's aid. She wasn't a vet and wasn't quite sure of what she was doing, but she had seen her dad help their dog give birth once. She imagined it couldn't be that far off, and luckily she was right. Before she knew it, four wolf cubs were born. The change in the mother was almost instant. 
Once out of danger, she groomed her pups and made sure they were all latching on to feed before laying down exhausted from all the work. The entire time, she had treated Sarah like an old friend. The young woman couldn't help but feel blessed that the wolf had so much faith in her. She made sure the little family was all fine, then picked up Julia and set off back on her way. She couldn't wait to see her partner and tell him all about what had happened. Fast forward four long years. A long time had passed since Sarah had shared that miraculous moment with the mother wolf, but not a day had gone by without her thinking about the little family. She often wondered whether they would ever cross paths again. Were they even still living in the same forest? And would the mother remember her? One day, she got the answers to her questions, but in a way she never thought she would. Sarah and Julia were off on their weekly hike, excited for a day in the sun. The weather had been horrific all week, and all little Julia wanted to do that day was go outside. They hoped to hike a little and then have a picnic on the hill, but they didn't get that far because just 30 minutes into the hike, something every outdoorsman fears came true. The pair was happily hiking on when suddenly the biggest grizzly bear Sarah had ever seen crossed their path. They immediately froze and began to contemplate what to do. Sarah deeply hoped that the bear would just sniff them out and move on. However, she soon discovered this wasn't the case. The grizzly bear seemed to take instant offense to their presence and reared up on its hind legs. This meant big trouble for the mother and daughter. Sarah threw herself in between her daughter and the bear and tried everything she could think of to get the bear to stand down. Unfortunately, though, her aggression just seemed to egg the bear on. Sarah was sure it was all over. She could only hope her daughter would run away in time to save herself. She was ready to die to protect her, but suddenly something incredible happened. Out of the corner of her eye, she saw a sudden movement followed by five wolves throwing themselves in between her and the bear. Unable to even comprehend what was happening, Sarah simply froze at the scene before her. Five random wolves had come to her rescue. They snarled at the bear and snapped at its feet until the beast simply gave up and left. Sarah slowly edged back to where poor Julia was crying and shaking. She was scared the wolves might turn on them next, but what happened next simply brought her to tears. All of the wolves turned around, but only one advanced toward her. The minute she saw its face, she recognized it. It was the mother wolf from all those years ago. Somehow, they had remembered Sarah and Julia and had come to their rescue. The wolf simply looked deep at Sarah and then threw her head up and howled. The other wolves followed in pursuit and then took their leave. Sarah couldn't help but feel this was their way of saying thank you. Her kindness and bravery all those years ago hadn't gone unnoticed after all. And now, she could count on five furry protectors that would always come to her aid in her moment of need. Why did the man leave in such a hurry with a wolf in his arms? What the hell happened? Dimitri lives in a rural town in Alaska. He was born in this town, and he spent most of his life here. In his childhood, Dimitri's parents often took him to play in the surrounding forest, and their family would take a few hours to walk in the forest. This is the happiest moment when Dimitri and his parents go out, although wolves often appear in the forest. Dimitri is not afraid at all. In order to track the elusive wolves, he always spends hours looking for the trail of animals, trying to see the real appearance of wolves who only hear their voices but see their bodies. For some reason, Dimitri thought they were among the most beautiful animals he had ever seen. As Dimitri grew up, although he reduced the number of good times spent in the forest with his parents, he never lost his love and curiosity about the forest. Every night he would still sleep listening to the wolves howling at the moon. Until he was old enough to go to college, Dimitri did not forget all the adventures of those years. During his years in college, he met a young girl who won his heart. They went to the same university, and they were attracted to each other's characteristics. After college, they started dating, and they had a job that seemed to pay well. Later, after discussing, they decided to move back to Dimitri's hometown, and in the near future, Dimitri married the girl, and they soon had two lovely sons, named Jack and Thomas. 
Dimitri's favorite activity has not changed for so many years. He likes to go for a walk in the forest with his sons. Just like Dimitri's parents did before. One winter day, when Jack, 12, and Thomas, 9, were marveling at the gleaming silver clothes that God had bestowed on the forest, suddenly a strange sound came in their ears, like the howling of some kind of animal, and they could hear that the animal that made this howl was obviously sad. So Dimitri decided to go and have a look. He let his two sons follow him, when they walked around several big trees, and enter a small open space, when quietly approaching the sound source, the three men suddenly stopped, standing in the middle of the open space, I saw a little wolf on the opposite side not far away. It seemed that it had just developed. The most important thing was that Dimitri found that the little wolf was very poor, because it seemed to be trapped in the hunter's trap. With the shrill cries of the little wolf, Dimitri's heart, which likes wolves, was broken. So Dimitri immediately took action, he approached the little wolf slowly, when the little wolf growled at him, he stopped, as if he were lowering his voice and communicating with the wolf, at the same time, he climbed closer to the little wolf. When it's close enough to the wolf, when you can touch the fur of this poor animal, once again, he told the wolf in a special way that he just wanted to help it. Surprisingly, the wolf suddenly stopped roaring and began to lick Dimitri's hand. It obviously felt that the person in front of him didn't want to hurt it. The wolf gradually calmed down and began to converge his lost face and release his fragile side. On the other side, Dimitri looked at the trap where the wolf was. He felt very glad, because it looked like a simple trap, but Dimitri's expression turned complicated. He was particularly worried about the injury of the wolf now. In order to avoid accidents, Dimitri told his sons to stand back, because he decided to do a very dangerous thing. The sons obediently stepped back, still staring at his father's big project, while the little wolf cast an eager eye. It turned out that Dimitri was trying to open the trap with the tools he carried with him, trying to rescue the trapped wolf. The development of things lived up to expectations, and Dimitri finally opened the cage to trap the little wolf and released the little wolf. However, the next scene is different from Dimitri's thought. He thought that the frightened little wolf would run away immediately. On the contrary, the little wolf did not move half a step, but continued to lie in that place, whining incessantly, and his poor appearance made people sympathize. What Dimitri was worried about happened after all, he can't let a baby milk wolf die when it gets hurt. Dimitri couldn't do such a thing. He did the only thing he could think of. He picked up the wolf first. This scene shocked Dimitri's two sons. Although it was still a wolf and injured, its danger was immeasurable. It could make Dimitri easily in danger. Nevertheless, Dimitri held the wolf and told his sons to go home quickly, so that he could take the wolf to the vet. Surprisingly, the little wolf was quiet from beginning to end. After walking for several hours, they finally got out of the forest. Dimitri first sent the children home safely, and then rushed to the nearest veterinary hospital with the wolf. But everyone seemed surprised. They thought it was a dangerous animal, but after Dimitri's repeated insistence, the veterinarian finally agreed to treat the injured wolf. Dimitri, on the other hand, always comforted the poor little guy. After examination, the doctor said that he only needed to give him some food and water before he could be sent back to the forest. So Dimitri took the wolf home and took good care of it. After the wolf got better, he sent it back to the forest. The three men stood at a safe distance and watched the wolf drift away. During this period, the wolf turned around as if to thank them for their help. Finally, the wolf disappeared into the forest. A few years later, another winter, the children went into the forest to play, perhaps because they enjoyed themselves too much. When night fell and they wanted to go home, they found that they couldn't remember the way home. They are afraid of being trapped in the cold forest in the middle of winter. The two try to find their way home, but the results are always unsatisfactory. Disappointed, the two boys sat on a log and huddled together to keep warm. Then the boys found a pair of eyes on the tree in the darkness, and they were even more frightened, but at that moment the eyes came closer slowly, 
and they immediately recognized that it was the little wolf that had been saved. When the wolf smelled the boys, its tail began to sway gently. After that, the wolf touched the boys gently and motioned for them to follow. The wolf began to walk back through the forest, and stopped from time to time to make sure that the two children followed. About thirty minutes later, the boys saw everything familiar, saw the lights and heard the familiar voices of their families. It turned out that the wolf safely sent the boys back to their parents' arms. Dimitri was amazed at what had happened. It was the wolf who saved the children. Dimitri thanked the wolf, who seemed to respond, and then he disappeared into the forest. This may be a causal cycle. If Dimitri hadn't saved the wolf and released it, maybe his two sons would have some dangerous experiences. This also corresponds to the old saying, good is rewarded with good. It is said that wolves are fierce beasts and have no feelings, but now I know that both people and animals have feelings. There is a saying widely circulated, if the wolf turns back, there must be a reason either to repay the kindness or to avenge it. Wolf is an animal with distinct grievances. If you treat it well, it will be grateful. If you hurt it, it will take revenge. In fact, all things have spirituality. If you treat all things sincerely, all things have induction. Therefore, we should be kind to animals, and it is everyone's responsibility to protect wild animals.